The second tip on composition. This is the Tanalot Temple in Bali, which is a massive tourist attraction over there. And the huge numbers of people visit. And they're off the right of where the temple is. And when you're thinking about composition, you need to get into a position where there aren't thousands of people. This took me about a 20 minute walk to go all the way around to this side and get the view. But it enabled me to get the temple, none of the people. And look at where the, the temple is and the horizon. They're not in the middle of the picture. Try and steer clear of putting the horizon or your object, the subject that you're photographing, in the middle of the picture. <coughs> There's a little bit of foreground colour from the greenery, but one of the things about this picture is I've been able to use the water line, because <clears throat> look for lines in landscapes, because they help the viewer's eye into the picture. Talking of people, one of the things that's, um, if you're photographing larger landscapes, this is in the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, and you've got no real idea of how big the scene is a little bit of an idea from the fact that there's some kind of road and uh, a building at the top right. But if you look at the little guy in the middle, include somebody in the picture in the bigger landscape because it's a really good way of giving you scale and also how we interact with the environment. <clears throat> the other thing about this shot is it's taken near the middle of the day. So fortunately the valley is um, in shade. But in these kind of uh, latitudes, the sky can be quite featureless in that time of day, so leave it out. Same kind of principle, this is in the wilds of Iceland. Um, you know, again, the people are in there simply to give an idea of scale as to how we fit in to the environment. 